A big misunderstanding and something that you will hear a lot is that you can build a sufficient amount of muscle at home. Now this has its reasons but science has shown that this statement is simply untrue. And this is something that we will discuss in a few seconds. Now because a lot of gyms are closed right now and a lot of people seem to have no idea what to do at home and because a lot of you guys were asking for an at home workout, I decided to make this video to make sure that you can get those sweet gains at home. And this workout is going to be a full body workout which I advise you to do at least three to five times a week. Now let's start off by looking at what the science says when it comes to building muscle at home. Now the biggest reason as to why people say that you can build muscle at home is because it's hard to do exercises within the 6 to 12 rep range. And this rep range is often said to be the best rep range for muscle growth, but I'm here to tell you that the other rep ranges can build the same amount of muscle as the 6 to 12 one. Because according to plenty of studies, we can build as much muscle with higher rep ranges as with the lower rep range. But there is a small catch to it. First off, we will start off by looking at this study and it showed that as long subjects were training with at least 40% of their one rep max, they are able to build as much muscle as the others who trained with 60% and 80% of their one rep max. Now I quickly did the math with the findings of the study. I found that as long as you're doing under 38 reps, you should be able to build as much muscle as the other rep ranges. But this isn't as easy as it sounds. Because when we look at another study, Study, we know that you have to basically go to failure each set to make some gains. So as long as you're doing under 38 reps and going to failure each set, you can pack on a good amount of size at home. But honestly, I really hate doing high reps like this to failure myself. So for that reason, I made my at home workout program, which you can find with the link in the description down below. It basically switches between different exercise variations according to difficulty. So you don't have to do a ridiculous amount of reps. And the best part is that you don't need and equipment, so no rubber bands or anything like that. Every exercise variation is fully explained and illustrated, so make sure to check it out. Now that being said, let's go to the exercises for this basic full body workout. Now I will divide this in a couple of sections. The upper body movements, the leg and core exercises, and at the end I'll show you some movements that you can do as extras to build smaller muscles like your arms and your shoulders. Now before we start here, I want to quickly remind you to smash that like button because for every like I will put up a picture of a cute cat in my videos, which honestly sounds like a good deal to me. Also hit that subscribe button right now to receive more helpful content like this in your feed. And without further ado, let's get started. Now of course before every workout you want to do a warm-up. Now this all depends on if you have to stay at home the whole time or if you can go jogging outside. So whatever it is, it's best to do at least 5 minutes of light cardio work before you start with the exercises. Now this can even be jogging around the house or jump roping or anything like that. Now for the first exercises, we're going to look at your legs. Now I put this first because you know, well, never skip leg day, but also because it's really hard to find good exercises to train your legs at home. So first up we got the most basic one which is the pistol squat. And this is hands down the most difficult option which you can make easier by just gripping onto something else. Because let's face it, not all of us have the balance to perform this. Now something that I've noticed when performing this exercise is that I'm really unable to keep my other leg straight because I'm really not that flexible. So to fix this you can simply sort of wrap it around your other leg when you're going down. Now to progress this you can try letting go of the surface you're holding onto and practice your balance. And if this is still too light, you can try adding some weight with the backpack or anything like that. I'd definitely be surprised if you would be able to bang out 38 reps with this, so I definitely challenge you to get to this amount. Reps. And for the next exercise, we're going to take a look at the hamstrings, but well, this is a difficult one to find an exercise for, and I've seen a lot of people do Nordic hamstring curls, but I really don't like that exercise. Mostly because, well, it's hard to find something where you can stick your feet under. You can, for example, use a couch, but this is not the only reason. This exercise mainly focuses on the eccentric, and it puts my knees in an awkward position, so we're going to do leg curls on the ground instead, which you can also find in my at-home workout program with different variations. Now depending on how rough your floor is, the difficulty will be different. But you basically want to slide your heels like you would during a leg curl while keeping your body in a plank position and then extend your legs. This should allow you to feel a nice contraction and I personally already feel my hamstrings working a lot. Now you can use thick socks or some other sort of sliding pads but anything really works. Let's not waste any time and go right into the next exercise which is the single legged calf raise. And 
please guys don't skip this one i know it's weird coming from a guy with tiny calves but if i can bring myself to train my calves without even seeing much muscle growth you can do it as well you can do this by simply looking for a sort of elevated surface like the stairs and grab onto the railing this is basically the same as a standard calf raise only now with one leg you'll probably have to do a high amount of reps with these or you can try to look to add some weight with a backpack or anything like that okay now let's go to the upper body exercises and first we're going to look at the chest and the most basic exercise for this would be a push-up now the way that you perform this exercise is going to be the most important to target your chest because what most people do wrong is that they just move their body straight down but that's not what we want to do here you want to slightly lean forward until your forearms are perpendicular to the ground like this when we've got that fixed you're just going to do push-ups until failure and if this exercise is too hard you can perform them on your knees and you can try to add weight with the backpack if you want to make it more difficult and for the next exercise we're going to do some weird delt work because well now is a good time to actually focus on your weak points and for most people this is their rear delts and if they aren't lagging you can always do pike push-ups to target your front delts but for now let's go to the rear delts which you can target with a reverse fly hold against the wall and this doesn't seem like a difficult exercise but hell I even struggle a lot when doing this try to hold them as long as possible and to make it harder you can step away a bit further from the wall and you're almost guaranteed to feel this working and this is hands down one of my favorite exercises for your delts which is body weight if it's too hard to perform this with straight arms you can always do them with your elbows and you want to try to bring your arms back as much as possible to really engage those muscles and now that we've got chest and shoulders out of the way let's move on to the back muscles now hands down the best exercise would be a pull-up so if you don't have a pull-up bar i'll put a link down in the description below now i can't do this myself anymore because my pull-up bar kind of broke down after plenty of years of hard work but we can use a drawer as an alternative and put a book under it to prevent the hinges from breaking down it will be a bit different than a normal pull-up but this works fine now if you don't want to risk breaking down your door you can also do an inverted row using a table to hold yourself like this and row your chest up against it the lower the table the the harder it will be now this exercise is already very challenging and it will definitely make you feel your legs burning while cranking out a few reps but now that we've got a few upper body and leg exercises let's move on to the core muscles for our abs there are a ridiculous amount of exercises but my two favorites will be the reverse crunch where you're sort of laid down on a couch or on the ground and try to bring your legs up and it's important to bend your spine to really target your lower abs it's best to hold something behind you like a couch so you can really keep your legs as straight as possible while doing this along with it you can do sit-ups and twists to target the entirety of your abs with this exercise you go up in a controlled manner hold it and twist at the top and for the lower back we're going to do supermans and really try to hold it a couple of seconds at the top to squeeze those muscles you basically want to lift your arms and legs up as high as you can and drop them back down again and repeat okay so now that we've got the core exercises out of the way let's move on to the arms something that you have probably been waiting for and that is justified because for these muscles it's hard to find good exercises to train these a great exercise where you're able to change the intensity right away is the leg bicep curl you might look weird doing this but well you're at home so it doesn't really matter you basically try to give some resistance with your leg while curling it with your bicep so depending on how much resistance you give the harder it will get and that's why it's such a great body weight only option now the only downside of this is that it requires some type of coordination and you want to make sure to grab onto something so you don't fall over for the triceps you can do sort of an overhead tricep extension against the wall or anything you might have where you can hold on to while doing this you basically want to stand against the wall and place your hands against it like this and do some extensions now you can go lower and lower each time to make it more difficult so if you're able to mark the wall you might want to draw some lines but i don't really want to ruin it so i just try to remember where i place my hands now the next exercise is going to be a replacement for the dumbbell lateral raise and you can basically just grab a backpack with some books or even rocks in it or just a pack of water and this is just to replace the dumbbells and you want to do as much reps as you can most people even perform this exercise wrong so this is a good time to drop down your ego and focus on more in technique now here's a quick list with all the exercises in the recommended sets the reps are just as much as you can but as i said before you can always check out my spartan physique at home program which includes a lot of exercises so it doesn't really get boring and your 
you're still able to target every other missile at home. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.